My name is Shondine Lawrence, and I am a Native American hoop dancer in the show Totem. So tell me a little bit about how you got involved uh, in Cirque du Soleil. Uh, in Cirque du Soleil, I was picked up about two years ago. Um, my brother, Nakota Lawrence, was originally the main hoop dancer in Totem, and they had found him on YouTube when they were doing the creation of the show. And uh, the theme is Native American and evolution, and they decided they wanted something Native American that was unique and different, and they saw hoop dancing. So they saw my brother again on YouTube, and they decided that they wanted him for the show. And eventually throughout the years, it was just him, and he needed a backup. And he was, he had, a, they, at first they didn't want a girl, but then they kind of realized that male and female look really good together, and so they called in me, the little sister. So your brother's still in the production? No, my brother's not actually, but he's back at home with my family, doing his thing, hoop dancing still, teaching, traveling. So how long, how long have you been involved in this particular production? Um, about two and a half years now. Mm -hmm. so you've been getting to travel America, travel the world, yes. and now you're in Sydney, Australia. Yes. Had you ever come to Australia before? No, never. So what have, what have been your first impressions of uh, this country? Um, well, I haven't seen much. I've seen Sydney a lot, and I really, really like it. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Flying in, I saw the, <laughs> what is it, the flyers and the, 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 the sailing and mm. the water. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's beautiful. Spending, it's huge. Spending a bit of time in the water if you can? Yeah, if I can, yes, definitely. <laughs> Except I'm scared of sharks and crocodiles. Crocodiles. <laughs> Which, you know, there are a few of Mm -hmm. but uh, I think you'll be right you'll yeah. be right so um, tell us a little bit about kind of the day-to-day -day life of, um, of being in this in this uh, production day-to-day mm, -day life we wake up about noonish have our breakfast coffee come in to work whenever our training is uh, train about an hour every day if I can uh, then eat we have a really good catering people with us our chefs and everything who travel with us and they make us delicious food all the time uh, eat and then do our makeup and then do the show. So, with your particular performance, you know, it's the same performance every night. Mm -hmm. What do you do to kind of keep that fresh for you and, and exciting? Um, we just play around. Every, every show we try to focus on something different, me and my partner. Whether it's you want to be lower, just small details, you always try to perfect small details every day and it's always fun. It must be. It must be a great opportunity then to be able to kind of perfect what you do in that, yeah. in that respect of a particular performance. Yeah, and you know, you have your off days and you have your good days, so it's a bit of, a bit of a both. You talked a little bit about the themes of the show, of, of Native American and, mm -hmm. and of evolution mm -hmm. and, and of nature. Um, you know, what are, what are some particular elements of the show outside of your performance that you enjoy? Um, everything. I enjoy everything. <laughs> really, everybody's so talented. The people are awesome. It's incredible. The first time I saw the show, I was blown away. It's magical. It's awesome. And for someone who's you know thinking about you know getting into a circus world, whether it be Cirque du Soleil or, mm -hmm. or an equivalent, you know, what advice would you uh, would you give to them? Uh, just to keep training, um, keep believing in yourself, keep dreaming big, and things can happen if you just really want them and you see them in your future. It'll happen.